to Player Show TV here this time back again with another Lego Star Wars Rogue One set. This is the biggest of the Rogue One sets. And this is 75156 Critics Imperial Shuttle, 863 pieces, ages 9 to 14. Comes with K2SO, Buddha Rook, PAO, Directed Krennic and two Imperial Death Troopers. There you can see the front of the box. Here you can see the back of the box with the features of the set. And it also tells how big and how wide it is. And stuff. So, yeah. Now let's take a look at the set itself. Here is the set itself, and you can see it's pretty big. And the uh, wingspan is about the same size as uh, Kylo Ren's command shuttle. And, uh, except this is what Kylo Ren's command shuttle is supposed to be. You see, the Kylo Ren's command shuttle, what was wrong with it was that the wings folded in, they went in and down or somewhere somehow and uh, you can go watch my review and uh, then but they were supposed to go to this direction like that it didn't this one goes all the way down and lands like that and uh, yeah you can see that there are three wings or three major wing bits then there are two lasers right there and then how you get inside of this thing is uh then you have you can you have a space to open it up and then there are there's a sticker and a printed piece in there and a room for director credit then what you can do is open these bits up on the sides and move uh, this up and uh, you've got room for the Imperial Troopers and it also has a ladder with uh, like uh, command, the command shuttle did and uh, there you can see the side angle from what it looks like on there. Then you had you can see the side angle from there. Sorry if you can't see that good. Put it down. And uh, yeah. And then to fold them back up, you just have uh, that and that. Then close that down. Then you can bring these up. Sometimes the wing don't want to do right. Uh, and I'm sorry for that. Don't do right all the time. And uh, then you you do have two. Uh, Places for spring loading missiles on each side of the wings. And then the last real main feature is the uh, the little landing pads here that can contract and, uh, and go like that. Like that. Like that. And uh, then you got like that. And yeah, that's basically it for the main bit of the set, the show itself. And uh, yeah, now let's go on to the minifigs, then we can get on to the ratings for the set. All right, so here are the minifigures from left to right. We got K S K two S O. We have Buddha Rook, PAO, Director Krennic, and two 
the two Imperial Death Troopers, starting off with uh, K.S. Balo here. Sorry, I had to look at the name. And uh, he's just that little droid that you build. And uh, he's on the good guy side. I think he's uh, wired to be uh, good at one point. And uh, you can see detailing him is pretty cool. And uh, he's just a looking like a pretty cool figure. And uh, he looks like he'd be awesome to uh, have and uh, play with. So it's him. And uh, you can see detailing on him, little Republic symbols on each side, I think. And uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. And then you have Buddha Rook. Sorry if I'm saying that name wrong. You can see his torso detailing, facial detailing. And take off the uh, little pack here. If we take off the pack here, you can see his back torso detailing and back head detailing. And he does have some really cool hair. And uh, yeah, that's Buddha Rook. Here's PAO and uh, Payo, I guess that's how you say it. You can see his torso detailing, leg detailing, facial detailing. Then if we take off that thing on the back, you can see his back torso detailing and back facial detailing. And yeah, that is PAO. Then we have Director Krennic. Torso detailing, lay detailing, no lay detailing, facial detailing. And then no back head detailing. Then we take off, or then we flip up the cape, back torso detailing. And yeah, that is Director Krennic. Then here's the Imperial Death Trooper. I'll show you both of them. You can see his torso detailing, leg detailing. So I hope the black is showing up good. Then the little cape thing. And uh, back torso detailing. And then it's just a ugly clone face under there. And uh, this is the exact same one, but uh, yeah. Torso detailing, leg detailing, ugly facial detailing, the side cape thing, and the back torso detailing. And uh, yeah, that's about it for the figures. Now let's go into ratings. What is that? Alright, so this set cost me $90 at Target, and uh, I was worried that we were going to get it at Disney World, but I changed my mind. And uh, so. On to the ratings, I really do think this set is pretty cool. It does have the features that Kylo Ren shuttle should have had. Or could the, the potential of Kylo Ren's shuttle that it could have been. With the features, with the wings here floating out a little bit. Unlike Kylo Ren's shuttle did. And then uh, you can see the figure poster. Which I have almost all of them, but the TIE Strikers. Uh, figures and then I have reviewed all of them but the TIE Striker and uh, then you have this piece count and Lego Star Wars and then the Master Your Force and the Force Builder app and uh, then the win with the robot and uh yeah overall i'm gonna give the set a 10. so uh please comment like and subscribe and uh as roman atwood says smile more and i'm doing that to encourage people to truly smile more because people do need to smile more so uh yeah and also go check out his channel he's very cool and other than that please comment subscribe and i We'll see you next time. Bye.